guys, what is up? It is Sun Sierra and I am back with another new video. So yes, in case you didn't notice, again, my setup is different. Just moved into a new house. We're probably gonna be in this house for about a year and that's what's up. I'm also very gross today, please ignore that. I don't know why I look so like greasy in general. Like, I don't know what's going on with my hair. I don't know. There's a lot happening. I just look really gross. This sweatshirt makes my neck look really long. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So the person we we're doing a video on today, I haven't seen any videos about him on YouTube, which is kind of funny because he's a YouTuber. I think, yeah, he's a YouTuber. If I actually found him on Twitter, he seems like a bad person. So I'm just bringing it over to YouTube. Okay, here we go. I feel like he'd actually spit on me if he met me. I don't know. So this dude's name, I'm looking at my laptop and I look this way by the way. So this dude's name is Taylor Goldblatt, I think. Taylor, um, when I first saw what he posted or uh, put on his Snapchat basically, I thought it was like gonna be a teen white girl who lives in the south and lives off of her parents money um no <laughs> it's a jewish gay dude he's older in his 20s so um yikes basically how i found him is a twitter post and he's being very racist towards some hispanic workers that he hired they're putting up a neon sign for him in his room and I'll just put the photos up here because there's like a lot. He put it on his um Snapchat and his Instagram story it looks like so here we go. He mentions a lot about he brings up like Trump and the wall and like very just very racist things. I feel like I don't need to explain that for you guys like I don't know, very bad. So this dude, you look initially at what he posted and you think, wow, he's a bad person. But then you get, you dig deeper and he's like a lot worse. I don't know how he has like subscribers. I don't know. Because when I found his Instagram, it's just a lot of like, every post has to do with money. Like he's trying to flex on y'all. Um, that's it. Like literally every post is just like money. Like, I don't know. From there, I also found his YouTube channel and I was like, um, I want to see his YouTube channel. Like, what is the kind of stuff that he posts? And from looking at it, it again is a lot of flexing and just talking about money. Go and watch his first video. It's a teacup Pomeranian named Gucci, spelled with a Y, which is really annoying. I don't know why that annoys me. Just Gucci spelled why. Um. Fresh off the boat Gucci baby. Now I don't save this dog from getting eaten in South Korea. So I do consider it a rescue even though I squandered 7,000 bucks on it. So 46 seconds into his video about his Pomeranian, he says just got him from South Korea and he saved him from being eaten. Uh, take that with what you will. I don't know. That's <laughs> this dude. What the fuck? Um, and then another thing that I noticed just like straight into the video, and I think he explains it later, like what happened, but it's one of those off white belts, you know, the uh, yellow ones. And he turned it into a dog leash, which dude just get a dog leash like you're trying to choke the fuck out of your dog i don't know it's just a lot barely into the video and he's already choking his dog and brings up asians so that's perfect so only a 14 minute video and there are five mid-roll ads so mm. so i watched more of the video and he's just i don't think he like treats the dog like a dog maybe that's just me um looking at it that way i don't know it just seems like an accessory to him or like a toy like he just wants a dog because it looks cute and oh look i got cute little like dog toys for it like i don't know i'm someone who thinks you should really adopt your animals instead of like shop like you know like the adopt don't shop which could make me hypocritical because i have one dog that we actually bought um she's american eskimo 
However, I will say that that wasn't my choice and it was my family's and the only two other dogs we've had besides her are adopted. Um, but that's always the best way to go, but I don't think I'd expect anything less than him, from him, I meant. I just noticed there's a fake $100 bill on the wall in the background. <laughs> that's funny. He doesn't seem to have much of a personality besides money. I looked at his playlist and he has a playlist called Rants and there are a lot of videos in there. The video that I watched because it caught my eye was They're Poor and I Am Rich and that is under rant videos. Um, so he's ranting about poor people. Also, I don't usually like to be mean because I'm not a perfect human and um, there are a lot of things you could be mean about to me. Um, obviously, but this dude, like, watching his videos, he's, is it mean to say he sounds like a more annoying Joey Graceffa? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Some days I just turn on the TV so I can see how the other half lives. Some days I just turn on the TV so I can see how the other half lives. So, he also, okay, because of that, like, stuff that he says like that, he's like, he likes to say that he knows what it's like to be poor don't think he does. Don't think he does. He's just always been rich and spoiled. He reminds me of Trump's gay son. I don't know. I also understand what it's like to be poor, you know, because I'm from Tennessee. Also, apparently being from Tennessee means that you're you're poor, as if people with money don't live in Tennessee. Like, I don't get his... I'm from Tennessee, so I know what it's like to be poor. Like, what the fuck does that mean? His whole thing is just bragging about money that he didn't make himself. And I still don't know how he got this money, but it's just money that he didn't get by himself. I don't get why that's something to brag about. Like, you're not self-made. You didn't do anything. You don't have to work. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, he has a whole playlist called Money, and there is 10 videos on it. Basically, if you're subscribed to him, you're watching him to like, feel poor. Like, I don't know <laughs> why you would watch him. Him and his friends, I watched their ratchet uh, McDonald's mukbang video. Like, eating food and making comments like this. It's just me, or just like a vagina somewhat re resemble an Arby's roast beef sandwich. Oh. One more thing I forgot to mention, I went on his Twitter and if you type in someone's name and then um, add like a key search word to it, all the tweets where they use that word will come back. I, someone pointed it out um, on I think the Twitter post that I was on and one found out that he said the n-word. I found more than two uh, tweets using the n-word than what uh, originally the person on the Twitter thing had posted because um, when you're replying, you can only put two pictures on there. Um, there's more than that. The thing is that he's not like a teenager who doesn't understand maybe like how bad this all is like this is a grown-ass man oh so, yeah i thought i'd just share some of the stuff i found out about him i just <laughs> don't go watch his videos and give him views out oh hello cat <laughs> i wanted to make a video to share what i found because i just kind of thought it was interesting again haven't seen any youtube videos about it he just seems like an icky dude he has um like 2k subscribers on youtube and i I get that like some people might not be your cup of tea but i <laughs> i just don't get it okay hello again anyways thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye <laughs>